Hey church family, today we begin our walk toward the cross. For the next several days, we'll look at the events that took place in the week leading up to Christ's crucifixion. As we turn to the Gospel of Luke, chapter 19, verses 28 through 42 today, we'll explore what occurred on the Sunday before Christ's crucifixion. Jesus entered Jerusalem on that Sunday, humbly riding on the colt of a donkey. As he entered, people cut palm branches and spread their clothes on the road in front of him. And in verses 37 and 38, Luke tells us why they did this. He writes, Now he, Jesus, came near the path down the Mount of Olives, and the whole crowd of the disciples began to praise God joyfully with a loud voice for all of the miracles they had seen. And they said, Blessed is the King who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest heaven. The whole crowd was praising God for Jesus. Why? Well, look back at the very end of verse 37. They were praising God for the miracles they had seen. They had seen Jesus defeat disease, destitution, and even death. They had seen a living Lazarus. And so they welcomed Jesus as a conquering hero because they believed that he could do something for them. But Jesus didn't entrust himself to them. He knew better. He knew what was in people. Jesus knew that the crowd sought the miracles, not the miracle worker. He knew their praises would turn to taunts. He knew their blessings would turn to curses. And he knew the same mouths that joyfully shouted on that day would angrily call for his crucifixion before the end of the week. As we walk toward the cross this week, let's pause to evaluate our hearts. Ask yourself this question today. Do I seek Jesus because of what he can do for me or because of who he is? The crowd saw the miracles, but they missed out on the one whom the miracles were designed to reveal. Let's not miss out on Christ this Easter. Enjoy your time with Jesus today.